we'll talk about support vector machines. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. To watch more videos on machine learning and programming, do subscribe to the channel. This video is an introduction to support vector machines. For an in-depth understanding, please refer to the links in the description. Support vector machines are perhaps one of the most popular and talked about machine learning algorithms. They were extremely popular around the time they were developed in the 1990s and continue to be the go-to method for a high-performing algorithm with a little tuning. Support vector machine is a supervised machine learning algorithm which can be used for classification challenges. In addition to performing linear classification, SVMs can efficiently perform on non-linear classification as well. So, what are support vector machines? It is a discriminative classifier formally defined by a separating hyperplane. In other words, given labeled training data, the algorithm outputs an optimal hyperplane which categorizes new examples. In simple terms, an SVM model is a representation of the examples as points in space mapped so that the examples of the sub examples of the separate categories are divided by a clear gap that is as wide as possible. Let's visualize this. In this graph, we can see that the two classes are separated by the largest gap possible. The space between the red line and the closest point to the red line is called a margin. So, for one dimensional data, the support vector classifier is a point. For two dimensional data, the support vector classifier is a line as seen in the previous slide. For three dimensional data, the support vector is a plane. And for four dimensional or more, the support vector classifier is a hyperplane. So let's talk about the hyperplane now. A hyperplane in an n-dimensional Euclidean space is a flat n-1 dimensional subset of that space that divides the space into two disconnected parts. So a line is a hyperplane or even a 2D plane for a 3D data is a hyperplane. SVM algorithms use a set of mathematical functions that are defined as the kernel. Sometimes it is not possible to find a hyperplane or a linear decision boundary for some classification problems. If we project the data into a higher dimension from the original space, we may get a hyperplane in the projected dimension that helps to classify the data. Let's see what we mean here. As shown in the figure, it is impossible to find a line to separate the two classes green and blue in the input space. But after projecting the data into a higher dimension, we, we were able to classify the data using a hyperplane. Hence, kernel helps to find a hyperplane in the higher dimension space without increasing the computational cost much. Usually, the computational cost will increase if the dimension of the data increases. The mathematics behind how kernels work is out of scope for this video. The SVM model needs to be solved using an optimization procedure. You can use a numerical optimization procedure to search for the coefficients of the hyperplane. The most popular method for fitting an SVM is the sequential minimal optimization SMO, method that is very efficient. It bakes the problem into sub-problems that can be solved analytically by calculating rather than numerically by searching or optimizing. In the next video, we'll implement the support vector machine. We have two choices here. We can either use the scikit-learn library to import the, logic, the SVM model and use it directly or we can write our own model based on the equations above. We'll look at the scikit-learn implementation in the next video. Thank you.